Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Christian Fox. This is Eight Legs Only. Now today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, uh, the reason for that is because although this is one of the most popular spiders in the industry, um, they're very misunderstood and there's a lot of bad information out there. So just wanted to kind of almost get it out of the way really, this one. Um, so this is the Bracky Palmer Smithy. I was gonna say his name is Diego, but is it a size now where I can inspect him? I think he is a she, so that's good. So what we're gonna do is, she had to be rehoused recently, so I went through the film and all that. What we'll do is we'll do a nice little bioactive setup. Uh, very quick, very short video. We'll, um, explain a little bit about the species, where it comes from, um, the farming of them, and uh, what's uh, caused some complications in Mexico and so forth. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, get a rehoused into the new enclosure, and uh, we'll get some, some nice footage of her out of the enclosure, but also in a new enclosure. How's that sound? Eight Legs Only is brought to you by Reptile Growth Co. For all your reptile and invert needs. So let's take a look at the enclosure. So Jose was in a 20 by 20 by 20 tank. Now he's been digging around for a little while. He's dug up all of the plants. So we've decided today's the day. We're going to get him rehoused give you a little bit more information about the Mexican red knee. Let me get my head straight, I need a drink of water It's been days I've had a headache Don't wanna wake up one day, feel like I regret things I want my story just to have a happy ending and I... Okay guys, Bracky Palmer Smithy Also called the Mexican Red Knee Tarantula uh, It's visually stunning arachnid that originates from the western regions of Mexico Typically the western facing mountains Also known for its vibrant colours, dark brown body, sometimes black Red stroke orange joints on the legs, hence its name, the Mexican red knee. Now one of the striking features of this spider is the impressive size. Females grow to about six inches in length and the males are slightly smaller. Now this tarantula commands attention. Their large hairy bodies, their intimidating fangs often evoke fear and curiosity, leading them to be very popular as exotic pets among tarantula enthusiasts. Now, despite that menacing appearance, Mexican red knees are known for docile nature. In the wild, these tarantulas are relatively calm. They avoid conflict unless threatened and spend most of their time hiding in burrows. They create these in the ground, emerging primarily at night, just to hunt insects and other small prey. Now, tarantulas require a proper habitat to mimic their natural environment. This will be a terrarium with ample space and humidity. It's important to note when handling tarantulas, it should be done with caution and only by experienced individuals. Any bites, though rare, can be painful and sometimes cause allergic reactions. So I'm adding some clay balls. These are readily available in your spider shops. Uh, this will take the excess moisture out of the air and the other the substrate that I'm about to put in. What I'm going to do next is add some cocoa fibre, just as a base layer on top of that. As you can see, I don't like to use screens. The simple fact of the matter for that is I had a spider caught up in one once and I was very lucky to get him out okay. Okay, so while we're doing the boring part and the setup of the substrate, let's give you some music to get into while we do that. Happen to good people. None of us were ever really born equal. Only one life, there ain't no sequel. Some people live, others stay fearful. 
This world ain't never been peaceful. You got good, always button heads against evil. The good try to be fair, but the bad lethal. They gon' fight dirty, every single one deceitful. Stand up, I wanna see your face. Get your chin up like you belong in this place. We gon' train like you've never trained before. You're going up against something that you can't ignore. This ain't a game, this your life that we're playing with. There ain't no reset button or an off switch. You gotta face your fears, you gotta scratch the itch. You gotta break through the walls and get after it. Only time will tell who's gonna make it. I promise you, I'ma be the one who's gonna take it. I fight, I provide, leaving blood on the pavement. If you're up against me, then you better be praying, cause I'll keep punching till my knuckles start breaking. I'll keep going through the blood that I'm tasting. I won't stop till they've all seen greatness. The battle for my world just started. I've been waiting A lot of people think that I come off aggressive, but I'm just passionate. Why aren't you? Ain't nobody care if you got nothing to lose. You gotta put yourself on the line, make moves. Otherwise, you'll be a sheep with the lies watching you. Only time will tell who's gonna make it. I promise you, I'ma be the one who's gonna take it. I fight, I provide, leaving blood on the pavement. If you're up against me, then you better be praying, cuz I'll keep punching till my knuckles start breaking. I'll keep going through the blood that I'm tasting. I won't stop till they've all seen greatness. The battle for my world just started, I've been waiting. Today is the day, don't waste any time, know it's time to make a change. Up in your mind, rearrange, start thinking you're the hero headed out on your way. There's gonna be good times and bad times, that's alright, just stay on the line. Cause in life we all got a different mission, but the good guy always wins, that's a given. If you stay committed, you stay driven, you'll be looking down the barrel of completing your mission, ignition. Light the flame, get the fire and you listen, take these words deep, cause this is real, ain't no fiction. You don't need drugs, help any prescription, just persistence and energy can win any competition. So keep fighting, facing any opposition, and be the hero in a story you yourself have written. Okay, so if you're lucky enough to have a female, you can expect about 20 years of life out of it, in all the right conditions. With the males, again, a much longer lasting uh, lifespan than most other male tarantulas, sometimes five to seven years for a male. So again, you know, quite out of the ordinary for males in the, in the hobby. Now it's gonna take him a couple of days to adjust. He probably won't even find his burrow for at least 48 hours. Uh, what he does, he'll start to burrow down and dig deeper into the substrate. Uh, or alternatively, he might not use the burrow. He might spend a lot of time out in the open, which a lot of these spiders do. Uh, that's the misconception that obviously, you know, these guys are a specific burrowing species. They'll quite often ignore the burrow also. Now you can no longer import these from Mexico, from their natural wild habitat. The reason for that is they've been over farmed, too many people have been taking them out the wild and that's not fair on nature, the spider or yourself. So make sure you buy responsibly, buy from a private breeder or a shop that is making sure and insisting that these spiders are only captive bred and not taken from the wild. Now this little lady's never bitten me. She has on occasions flicked off a few uh, Urticating the hairs, which uh, is a defense mechanism. I did get some in my hands when I was uh, rehousing this video and slightly up my arm. 
and uh, it was a little bit irritating, but it wasn't actually as bad as, say, the Brachypalma Bohemi, uh, the fire leg. That was a lot more uh, frustrating and irritating. But yeah, pretty docile spider, pretty chilled all round. I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, as always, you know, I'll post a video and and then I'll think to myself, oh, I forgot to mention that. Or, but if I do, I do, you know. But hopefully I've covered, you know, the main aspects. Um, please feel free to drop anything in the comments if you uh, disagree, if you agree, or so forth. Uh, thank you for all the recent subscriptions recently. Uh, a lot of you new guys have joined us, and I really appreciate that. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, it really does help us as a channel. Uh, so if you can like the video, hit the subscription, uh, subscribe button, uh, and ring that notification bell, at least obviously then. You get notified of any new videos that have come up from us. And uh, as I said, that also helps us at the channel as well. All right, guys, hope you've had a good week. It's almost the end of the weekend. And uh, on to another week uh, for some more fun.